Goodbye. Where are you going, gamer? Monk. Ah. Gamer doesn't want to fight. Wow. That's shame. Someone told me that, like, it actually kind of makes sense since there is no really any sort of negative impact on your account when you are going to lose in PvP. People want to, like, for example, if you want to play through PvE and invader invades and you are not really losing anything meaningful, meaningful especially considering the fact that you have grace everywhere around, it kind of makes sense for people to just surrender and not even like continue fighting just like hey you killed my teammate just kill me too i'm not losing anything like let's say like these guys yeah if i'm gonna kill the the yellow phantom and the, the other gamer wants to continue on playing the game they, they just want to pve through like they are not here for pvp they can just die they're gonna respawn here nearby on the on the grace that will be about it the gamer might not might know that okay i stand no chance against this boss i summoned specifically for the sake of so my friend would help me with that boss that i struggle with for like last 15 minutes therefore like i'm just going to quit i'm gonna alt for the moment uh, my my friend is dead because what's even the point anymore the more i think about it the more i question idea of invasions being like mandatory if that's actually a good thing it's you know like of course in case for us for invaders it is a good thing uh, in case of Elden Ring, but it is only because the matchmaking matchmaking in, in these games is kind of fucking dog shit, yeah? Like, these guys actually... Here you go. They are going for the bosses. And what? Like, we are actually jumping in. Gonna murder these guys. Look. He's doing the thingy. And I am going to just kill him! <laughs> like, that's... That's kind of unfortunate. Like, the other guy is... Hmm. Like, what he gonna do now? Like, this is GG. Like, no wonder. Like, this is... This is like Invasion's Hater. At making. Like, that's it. I am the reason why this guy is going to fucking hate Invaders. <laughs> He just wanted to PvE through. <laughs> maybe he, they didn't see the notification about Invader. Maybe, maybe something else. I don't know. But yeah, it's. I bet that it is not pleasant experience for someone that just wants to go through the PvE to just yeah to be invaded like that when they are in the middle of something. Makes me wonder. Technically, it's it's the purpose of Invader. He's supposed to be a nuisance, yeah. Thing is though, like, when you have um, dungeons, non-open world bosses, then you can at least just run through the through the fog gate and escape invader in such way. And uh, here in the open world, invader can literally just interrupt you in the middle of, of the boss combat. I'm not sure if I like this design. I, I think I actually don't like it at all. <laughs> I think that's dog shit. Hello! What's up, gamer? Bonk. Like... Yeah, I mean... Not sure if invading this type of people, like, that are clearly not PvP prepared, is even that great of content in the first place. I mean, like, for me, it's not. Like, I, I don't like it that much. You kind of cannot do anything about it, yeah? It's not with current invading system. Why not duels on Arena? Uh, invasions and Arena, it's two completely different, actually, topics. I, I actually see sometimes this type of uh, messages. Why would did you go on the Arena? It's, arena is for dueling. Oh my god, poor guy. Yeah, like, meanwhile, I would rather prefer to have asymmetric PvP experience in form of invasions. But rather in form like it is in Dark Souls 3 probably would be better. In the meaning that you are invading, for example, like that Pontiff. 
or DLC city and you essentially invading people that are there for the sake of, of that asymmetric PvP. Like some people are hosting, others are invading and you have very uh, cool um, system that is essentially more engaging at least for me and the problem is that like in Dark Souls uh, sorry in Elden Ring it's uh, you cannot really have invasions similar to Dark Souls 2 or Dark Souls 3 that asymmetric PvP is like non-existent at all if you're going to take three players that know what they are doing you as an invader going to lose so in such case the only way to play it out is to have two versus twos yeah but then it is it's kind of like it, it's just like two v twos in the open world rather than asymmetric pvp that are invasions pvp in this game when it comes to invasions is, is in kind of unfortunate spot where you just murdering very often people that are completely not pvp ready like like not even a little bit hmm. i also got input drop oh no holy moly dude That fucking freaking earthquake effect almost bodied me, like... Yes. I love magic in this game. <laughs> it's so compelling. <laughs> uh, okay. But I have to play around some sort of rock, I guess. Because otherwise we're just gonna get bodied. Uh huh. Wizard doing wizard thingies. I couldn't attack the gamer. I cannot attack him again. Uh oh. Bonk. What now, gamer? What's the plan? Whoop. Plan is to die, I guess. GG. Honestly, now when I think about it, I would enjoy some 2v2s on the arena, but there is like two issues with 2v2s. They are not really as engaging for viewers. And another thing is that like the, the arena maps removing the environmental play because th th those are just like a fucking flat surfaces, yeah? And playing around the maps is kind of interesting, honestly. Playing around environment. There's another like another huge thing about invasions that I really enjoy myself. GG. GG, my goat. GG. Wait. Oh. So there is three of you. Wait, there's... <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay, I I'm not shooting him down. Like, dude, they are so cute. What's up, my dude? What's up? Whoop. Aww. I dropped an input. He actually tried to attack. Alright, now the goat of the goats. Jumping down, my dude. Like they, they were like jumping down one by one. But this guy just doesn't want to go down, it seems like. <laughs> Why are you What the fuck are What the fuck are you doing? I guess we got Hunter. But I have to go through entire battalion of summons. Oh, two blues. Bootleg banana is such a good name though. I guess we're just gonna go to the um to the host. Hi. Gamer's running. Alright. Hello. And bonk. Oh my god, this net. 
Oh my god, goated! Jesus Christ, get this gamer on the tournaments, competitive net! Please die. Please stop rolling tanks. Oh my god. Whoop! Yeah. Hmm. Truly roll masters. GG. Oh no, stay alive, gamer! Don't die! Bonk. What's up? Bonk. Oh, poor jumper, dude. But yeah, like, it's... 1v1s very often, unless, like, players are very, very, very good. It's just... Uh, they end up like this, yeah, rather quickly. Oh my god, he has a crossbow. And then it is essentially 2v1, yeah? Bruh. Yeah. Well, insane. It's, yeah, it's just like, eh. It's just not it, my dude, honestly. Really hope that DLC is going to bring asymmetric PvP that we know from Dark Souls 3. It's honestly, it was only Dark Souls 3 that actually, well, technically also remaster, yeah? Like, but originally Dark Souls 1 did, didn't have like six player limit and that a fun asymmetric pvp experience but yeah like dark souls 3 was goated in that manner even though like i am very sad i skipped dark souls 3 because initially like i was so burnt out out of souls that when um dark souls 3 has been released i just decided i that i won't play it i played a little bit but not for too long and uh, yeah it's a shame because like that was Kind of, I missed on amazing experience, in my opinion. Like, I I really enjoyed uh, watching videos afterwards, like, from Dark Souls 3. Shit was goated in that regard, like, how, how the invasions were played out there. I really, really enjoyed it. Ah, oh, bruh. Okay. Goodbye. Poor dude. Look at these two goats standing there. Look at this. Hi! Bye! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think he is not happy. Not happy at all. Something tells me this gamer is definitely not really appreciating my trap. Uh oh. Insane running attack shield finisher. Did you? 